Hi, good morning, Mr. Dudley. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Reverend William Dudley first got a tough diagnosis in 2008. Having prostate cancer was a huge shock since he didn't feel sick. It was just she, uh, my doctor, uh, thought she needed to do the exam. She did the exam because I was in that age. He started treatment right away, but four years later, the cancer had spread. Some of it was in his back. He needed surgery or he might not be able to walk again. They cleaned all the cancer out. They had cut out some bone, put a rod in and three screws. And then from there, I, um, I won't say I had to learn how to walk again, but I had to learn how to walk again. Reverend Dudley's family has a history of cancer, and now a new international study led by the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance shows a surprising genetic link. It's new. It involves many of the same genes that are involved in breast and ovarian cancer risk. In the study of nearly 700 men with advanced prostate cancer, they found almost 12 percent had inherited cancer risk genes that likely contributed to their cancer. Some of those same genes like BRCA1 and 2 that contribute to breast cancer also affect men. I think because of the way these genes were first identified with families that have breast and ovarian cancer, it ha fell through the cracks a little bit in the importance to men in those families. Doctors say it's important for family members to share that history with each other and their doctors because early detection is key to winning the fight against cancer. I'm Marty Salt reporting.